Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the only Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use OBS to record console games using the Elgato Game Capture HD or HD PBR2. However, in this video, I am going to be using the Elgato Game Capture HD. And the reason you might want to record uh, console games with the Elgato using OBS rather than the Elgato software is because with OBS, you'll be able to actually add face cams, overlays, Things like that directly into the recording rather than having to do that after the fact, which can be very, very time consuming. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and go down here to scenes. Right click on that. Click add scene and add, just name this console. Click enter or OK and then go to sources and we want to add not a game capture, but a video capture device. We'll just type gameplay here because that's what this is. Click OK and then you want to click on the device to find your Gato Game Capture HD. Once you've found that, click it, and then boom. Okay, we're ready to go. I do recommend going here and actually choosing the Elgato as the audio device as well because I have had some issues with that in the past, but that's up to you. It might work perfectly off default, so just go ahead and choose that if you want, and then click OK. Now if we hit Preview Stream, it's going to show the Elgato Game Capture HD right here. One moment, please. It's going to have to restart my Xbox, all that jazz to work, but... There it is. We'll leave that up for a moment while we go into settings. We go into settings and we want to add a new profile, which we actually have to go down here and stop the preview to do. So we'll go ahead and stop the preview and uh, add this new profile and then show you the preview afterwards. Stop the preview! Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, go to settings and then if we go to console, we'll do console recording. And then if we hit add, now we can go through here and enter all of our settings. However, I'm going to use the exact same settings that I use for PC recording. Um, the reason I'm going to do that is because I like to keep my quality consistent across the board. The best way to do that is use the same settings, except this has to be 720p, and that's because my Elgato is set up for 720p. If yours is set up for 1080p, then uh, you shouldn't have any issues keeping it 1080p. We go into broadcast settings, file output, that looks all good. By the way, in encoding, 15,000 bit rates and a AAC audio codex. If you have a 48 kilohertz mic, you want to use that. If not, 44.1, 320 max bit rate on that with stereo audio channel. And uh, yeah, there's that. Go ahead and click apply. Move on to broadcast settings. File output only. Browse. Choose where you want to put your video and then type in recording or video or whatever you want to. Doesn't matter what you name it. After that, you want to move on to video settings. I use my GTX 770 or 760 to uh, encode using uh, LBS, but if, if that's not your style, you don't have to do that. We do want to change this to 720p, which is 1280 by 720 and then downscale none at 30fps because YouTube only allows the 30fps. After that, we can go ahead and move on to audio. Default audio device is what I always use, and that should end up being your Elgato because of how it's set up, how that is set as the default audio device for the gameplay, and so that's going to output. So, yeah, that's how that works. Microphone, whatever your microphone is, for me, that's a blue snowball. For you, that might be a, you know, Astro Gaming headset, Turtle Beaches, whatever you use. After that, none of this needs to be changed, except I will say this. You might have an issue with your voice not syncing with gameplay that's showing on the screen. For example, your voice might be like a few seconds behind your gameplay. If that's the case, this is a hard thing to test. It's going to take some time. But you need to come in here into mic sync offset and add in, say, 2,000 milliseconds for 2,000 seconds. So that's how that works. And uh, it's very, very, very time consuming to test that over and over and over again. But you have to work it out if you want to record console gaming using OBS. And uh, that is the most time-consuming part, but just play around with this delay until finally your mic syncs with your gameplay perfectly. And uh, like I said, that will take some time. So nevertheless, go ahead and click apply on that. Go into advanced, and uh, I don't think anything has changed here. And you should be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to stream or, or if you want to record now, so let me go up here to profiles and click console recording. And then just click start recording. It'll open up OBS. And it's going to say this device is used by another application. If it says this, what you need to do is actually shut down your Xbox, right? And then open your Xbox back up while this is still up, while the preview is still working. And your OBS should work with um, with the Elgato. Nevertheless, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up. It really does help me out. I'm Nick's Games, and I am out, guys. Peace. 
And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. On the left is should you get a gaming PC, in which I break down should you or should you not get a gaming PC. Should you stick to console? Should you switch to PC? That video will tell you exactly what I think you should do and, and give you actually some things to consider and uh, let you make your own decision, actually. And on the right is an intro to OBS. It is a complete breakdown of the open broadcaster software that you saw here. I tell you how to do live streaming, recording. I tell you how to do everything. It's like 15 minutes long and it is an amazing amazing video that will make you an OBS expert go check it out also check out my daily vlogs and bombs on your screen anyway guys I'm Nick's Games and I'm out peace